Hey guys, it's Austin. Just wanted to check in and show you how to download custom fonts into Squarespace. One of the main reasons you would need to use this is to match a text the brand already has in place or if it's something that I have encountered, it's finding text similar to the one within your graphic. So for example, I recently created a graphic to go on the homepage for a new website that I created and it looked amazing. Everything was wonderful on desktop, but unfortunately when I uploaded it, uploaded it to mobile, it cut off part of the word and it just wasn't great looking and I couldn't hand it over to my client without having a responsive design. So here is a easy walkthrough of how to upload a custom font through Squarespace using only CSS. Hopefully you guys can hear me better now. I'm gonna walk you through, like I said before, how to download a custom font into Squarespace using CSS all the way through. So. Here I am at this website, 1001fonts.com. Uh, this seems to be a really popular site for the specific fonts that I need. So I'm just going to pick one out of random. That one looks interesting. Um, normally I have to Google a specific font used, but this is an exception. Download. Simple, easy. It's a zip file, so you're going to click it. Look for the TTF version. Open that up. If you have a Mac, this will automatically happen. Um, so here's your regular format of it. We're going to go ahead and install. It's called Woody's. Looks good to me. So one thing that I like to do is move the font over to my desktop. That was pretty loud. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. Um, I'm going to move it to my desktop so it's easy to find. Exit out. You're done. So here is a sample. I don't know what I was doing. Here's a sample site. This is based off one of Squarespace templates. Um, not one that I have been working on, obviously. So let's just go through how to do it. So you're at your Squarespace site, you're in the editing, we'll just back it up here real quick, you're in the edit, on the editing page, you're going to head over to design, scroll on down to custom CSS. I always like to open it in a new window so that you can see everything that you're working on. Now, we're going to take the code that I have on my blog, which as you can see is not yet published, but it will be as soon as I upload this video. Copy and paste the code that I have on my blog. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go to Manage Custom Files. We're going to upload that font I just dropped onto my desktop. Where did it go? There it is. Woody's. Open Sesame. Perfect. Let me go back over here. That's the font currently listed, Sacramento, but we're going to change it to Woody's. So keep in mind this is working specifically with the TTF font version. If it is an OTF, you will change this to open type. But for now, we're going to keep it true type. So we're going to start in the middle. This is, pay attention because it can get a little bit technical. So we're going to highlight the entire URL starting at HTTP and ending with TTF. Delete your old font. Then we're going to add the Woody font by just selecting it. Now let me go back and show you. Your mouse has to be inserted in between these two brackets for this to work. So if, um, for example, it pasted somewhere else, no worries, just delete it and start over. So click right here, select Woody's, it'll paste, and voila, you're done. So 
The next step will be to select the text type and the reason this is so important is because it has to be exact for it to work. Um, anything from capital letters to spacing, if one thing is off, it will not transfer over. So I'm going to click Command C. You can also right click and click copy. Then we're going to take out the text here of the old font and insert in the new font, keeping it within the quotation marks. Um, and then along with down here, copy and paste. Voila, as you can see over here, we now have Woody's font. Yay! So, next step. You probably aren't going to be changing this within the page title like I did. So here is where you can change it um, anywhere else on your site. It could be the regular text, it could be a header, whatever works for you. So we're going to go back over here. Let's say we want to change this text right here. So go ahead and highlight it. We're going to inspect it. It looks scary, I promise it's not that terrible. We're going to come down here under element style and really figure out what the name of this text is. So as I scroll down, obviously the text is aligned centered. Okay, cool. It's a H1 tag. Pretty simple. So I'm going to highlight H1. I could also write this out if I didn't want to be lazy, but today we're going to be lazy replace my h1 page title with simply just h1 exit out of here so i can show you and voila if you wanted to change multiple texts so we'll say we want i don't know h1 and regular text we could do that too so um let's say you wanted for some reason that's not working so let's go back and inspect this text aha that's why it's an h3 so I'm gonna copy and paste making sure I enter a what is that a comma <laughs> a comma to separate the two save exit out of here and now your h3 you can change really anything so again that's a page title um, you could change the text within buttons just right click inspect and figure out what Squarespace is calling it so that you get the right assignment and voila you're done just make sure you save it you can exit out of here and you are done your site looks good